established in 1964 at Peak Mobile Home Park. We're down here in Lazy Point on that Peak Harbor, and this is a 39-unit mobile home park. Now, this park's a little interesting because when it was established, it was established as a nonprofit membership corporation. Uh, which makes it well a nonprofit, but as a nonprofit, um, members get units in the park uh, without actual ownership of the land. The park maintains ownership of the property, and the rules of the park state that you cannot sell or rent out your property. So you don't really have any equity in the property; you just have the right to live here, and kind of becomes a interesting discussion point when we talk about divestment from flood zone because we are most definitely in the flood zone here and what, what I mean by divestment is if you're able to sell your property uh, the town of East Hampton has what they call CPF fund or community preservation fund and the town can buy the property and then restore it to natural condition and so that property is divested from being in the flood zone or from having uh, people living there in the flood zone, having buildings in the flood zone. Um, but this park can't really divest because a nonprofit can only liquidate its assets and then give those assets to another nonprofit. So what happens to all the people that live here? They own the homes, they can't really move them, even though it's called a mobile home park. You don't move these homes anymore, they're manufactured, they're on foundations, and they're permanently here. So, so what do you do? I don't know. If we ever had to divest, then we'd have to find a property inland out of the flood zone and re-establish the Nappy Mobile Home Park somewhere else and that's really the only way that they could divest. Now the park owns this parking lot here in this building on the side and then it also owns this piece of property on the beach here. So besides the area where the 39 units are located, they also own this property. Now, we can either invest or divest. And invest would mean to upgrade all of our septic systems and build all of the houses to an elevated height. Uh, you can see there's still a couple that haven't been elevated yet. Now at the end of the road here on the beach is a good example of a CPF fund property, one that the town just bought and they're getting ready to tear down the house and restore the land to a natural condition. Now this property is about the same size as our beach over here and the town just bought it for, I uh, don't know the exact figure, it's about $950,000. So, you could consider that this property over here, and the parking lot, and the 39 units would have a rough estimate of value at around $40 million. That's my estimation. So, in order to divest and sell to the CPF fund, you have to get $40 million, find another piece of property inland, and move the community inland and that's how you divest from the flood zone.